The Periodic Table by Appa Apps. This game teaches you all about the first 92 naturally occurring elements of the periodic table. Tap to continue. Cadmium. Now you have to choose the correct element. Cadmium. Well, I think it's this one. Cadmium. And if I draw a bracket, then I can go and look at lots of facts about cadmium. And here we are. You can draw a bracket on the screen for any one of the 92 elements in this app. Atomic number 23. Now sometimes the app will ask you the atomic number. 23. Hmm. I think it might be vanadium. Vanadium. It atomic is. Atomic number 23. And again, if we draw a bracket on the screen, then we see all the facts in one place. If I draw a question mark on the screen, then it takes me into help. And by scrolling through, I can see all the other on-screen gestures, which I can use to help control playing the game. And down towards the bottom of the page is a very long list of other apps made by Appa Apps. It's a really wide selection, something for everyone. Tap to continue. Erbium. If I draw an S on the screen, I start race mode. And now I have to race as fast as I can through the elements. Erbium. Atomic number five. Atomic number 26. And I have to click on the right element. Krypton. Try not to make a mistake. Atomic number 30 going through the elements as fast as I can and antimony trying not to make a mistake selenium it's not as easy as you might think helium. but it's a lot of fun niobium no that's antimony oh well I made a mistake so the race is now over and I'm taken to my race results Tap to continue. Niobium. Now if I want to see those race results again, then I draw an, a backwards S on the screen. And here we are back at the race results again. And I can try to beat my last best time in another race. Tap to continue. Now there's a very interesting feature called slideshow mode. If I touch the screen and hold the cursor for two seconds, a bubble appears and I can move this bubble around to show me all the elements of the periodic table in sequence. If I move the bubble vertically up and down, we move through the elements by atomic number. If I move the bubble horizontally, then all the elements in one particular group are shown. If I move the bubble diagonally, then I see all the elements alphabetically by name. And if I move the bubble diagonally in this direction, over to the left here, then I go through all the elements of the periodic table alphabetically by symbol. And there's one other very useful feature of slideshow mode. If I move the cursor around inside the bubble, then all of the facts for this particular element, thallium, are shown on the screen at the bottom. And you can do this for any of the elements. Now, if I want to play the game without any voice prompts, then I can draw this symbol on the screen. Silicon. And it reduces the volume by 50%. If I draw the same symbol again, then it cuts the sound out altogether. And now I can play quietly. If I want the sound to come back again, then I simply draw the symbol in reverse. And at any time, I can exit the game by drawing a square. And I can come back to play the periodic table another time.